Hey everyone, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I have this 07 Chevy Silverado 1500 extended cab. You've heard me talk about this in the past. When you're buying a used car, have somebody look at it. Bring somebody with you that's car savvy. Something. Just because anything can happen. So this person had purchased this thing off a used car lot and it's an as-is sale. When it's an as-is sale, you have no recourse. You could drive down the street and the engine blows up. That's on you. It's your problem. So, they came into us. They had it for a couple days. Then they came into us. There's but little bugs flying around here. Sorry about that. They had it for a couple days, and they noticed a fuel smell. So, they came into us and said, Hey, you know, I got this fuel odor on this thing. Can you check it out? Okay. So we put it up in the air. Now, this thing's only got 110,000 miles on it. We put it up in the air. Well, first thing we noticed is the quarter panel on the left side had some rust bubbles in it. Okay. Got to be an up north vehicle. So we put it up in the air, and I look, and I could see fuel stains on the gas tank. And I could actually smell it real strong at the top of the tank. And um, I went with the mirror, and I could see it was wet on the top of the tank. All right. Then I was really looking. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the bed off of this thing because where these straps are mounted and everything else, it's pretty rusted. So, what are we gonna find? So, we went and pulled the bed off of this one. Pulling beds off lately is a common thing around here. So we pulled the bed off, and let me tell you what: this is a hurting unit. It really is. Had the person brought it into a shop to have it inspected, have, have it looked at, they wouldn't be going through this right now. This thing needs quite a bit of work, unfortunately. So let me show you what's going on here. So here's the truck. The truck is not in bad shape. You know, like I said, the bed is off. The bed's actually inside the shop. It had some rust around the quarter panel on this side. So over to the sending unit. You still see some staining right here, but look at how rusted this is. It's ready to come apart. But now, what we saw from underneath was all of this. So I was like, no, I am not taking this thing apart. But look how rotted this upper tube is. Yeah, that's just rotted through. That's the frame, rotted through. Cross member rotted through. Look at that shock tower right there. That's ready to that's gonna break soon. See it's rotted to nothing. There's a rot hole in the frame there. Look at well actually here, quick. Look at this shock mount. This is all rot to heck too. So this thing has got quite a bit of rot on it. So what do you do at this point? I mean, look, look at how rotted this thing is inside there. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I don't know what the heck. Somebody was hitting a frame with something? I don't know. Well, even like, look inside the bumper here. It's all rotted. Well, here, let's come back around here on this side. And actually, oh, look, I just realized it. The gas tank strap is actually broken off of its mount. See that? Can you see that? Well, there's the strap right there. And it's actually... Because I think it's supposed to attach here. But even, like, look at the differential. Look at all the rod on top of it. I mean, that's pretty bad. Now I know they sell, you can actually buy, I think Dorman actually makes these and sells these. But there again, it's going to go to, at what point do we, do we stop? You know, where do we go from here? The truck's in pretty nice shape, body-wise. The interior's not in bad shape. It runs good. Like I said, it's only got 110,000 miles on it. It's a 5.3. But... Had they brought it in for us to look at before buying it, they wouldn't be having this problem. 
and I paid premium dollar for this thing. So what do you do now? I mean, seriously, what do you do now? You know, now it's like, all right, you got a rotted truck. So do we replace this whole cross member here? Because I mean, this is the fuel tank support too. That's just nothing left to it. That's that's bad. Gonna have to leave it up to the customer. What do they want to do? Do they want to want us to fix it? Yeah, it really depends on what they want to do. It's gonna get expensive. I'll tell you that. It's gonna get real expensive. But you know, sorry, there's nothing nothing we can do. It's not our not something that we created. But had. Um, had they come in and had us look at it, we could have told them, hey, stay away from this vehicle. But sometimes people, and I understand, people think they're smarter than everybody else. or what, not, I shouldn't say it that way. So people think that they're smart enough to where they can make an intelligent decision. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen that go south. So, anyway, just something to keep in mind. Protect yourself, because, you know... Maybe the person selling it didn't even know. Maybe the guy at the used car dealer had no idea. It's possible. I've seen used car dealers. I worked at a used car dealer for a little while when I first came down here. And um, oops, sorry. And the guy would get in these cars from auction, and I'd put them on, up on the lift and be like, you know, he'd already have them on the front line for sale. And then I would get them and put them on the lift because, you know, he'd want me to look at them and, you know, maybe change the oil, stuff like that. And I get in and I, and I put it up on the lift. And I'm like, yo, dude. The frame's rotted out on this thing. And then he's stuck with it. And he would actually put it back through the auction to sell it. He wouldn't sell it on the front line, that's for sure, because he didn't want his name attached to it. But, you know, things like that happen. So it's very possible they, they didn't know. It's very possible they did know. So just something to keep in mind. All right, guys. Don't let it happen to you. So hopefully you're getting something on my videos. If you are, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.